microphone. There we go. All right, Wednesday show and all these lights. Holy crap. <laughs> the king snake sitting up here staring. What's up everyone and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Reptile News. Now we're going to start off today in Anchorage, Alaska, where researchers have confirmed the finding of an ancient reptile for the first time in Alaska. The elasmosaur was found, I think they said it was like six feet or maybe it was 60 feet up an embankment and it's the first time it's been found in Alaska. They recently uncovered one in Montana and we talked about this recently and I, I, I just can't stress how excited it makes me to uh, hear these first. Uh, up until recently the elosmosaur was not known to have been in Alaska but apparently that was wrong. Science was proven wrong again and it'll probably be proven wrong once again when they find another dinosaur somewhere else. And this next article I want to talk about, I don't want to get in too much detail to it but the title really grabbed me and it was why snakes are 5,000 times more dangerous than sharks. Now in reading through this article we see that there are about 10 people a year killed by sharks and an estimated 50,000 a year killed by snakes. However they do note that the numbers for death by a snake bite are largely skewed and could be anywhere from 20,000 to over 90,000 people. And they also note that not very many people die in America. More people die in some undeveloped countries, some like some areas of India, they have as many as 11,000 people a year killed by snakes. Like I said, not really news, just some interesting facts to keep you going for your Wednesday. And now we're going to move on to the stupidest thing I think I've read all month long. There apparently has been a charge in the snake throwing at Tim Hortons. Now I can't believe I haven't heard of this story yet, but apparently some men got into an argument over some diced onions and eventually threw a snake behind the counter. Now police caught and released the snake, so that's good news. And a bench warrant is currently out for the other suspect. And now we're going to move on to Massachusetts with this little gem. Now these stories are becoming more and more common and they're really starting to bother me as many of them are coming out. Apparently a savanna monitor was found running around a neighborhood in Massachusetts. <laughs> the king snake is watching again. Now not too much is said about this story other than the monitor was captured and sent to a reptile rehabilitation center and it is illegal in Massachusetts to possess savanna monitors. Now clearly I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to tell that this was an escaped or released pet. And I can't stress enough every time I say, I'm getting, I really don't like to say it because I don't think I have to under the current circumstances that our community is facing, but we cannot be too careful with our animals. We cannot be releasing them out into the wild. We, ha we have to make sure that they cannot get out of their cages because every story like this that comes up is just going to fuel the fire to outlaw more exotic species of the animals that we love to keep. And now we're going to move on to Brazil with one of the most awesome stories that I've heard in a long time. Researchers apparently have found a venomous frog. That's right, I said a venomous frog. Apparently a researcher was out collecting frogs for a study when he injured his hand with one of them, or so he thought. Intense pain was fairly instantaneous and lasted for about five hours. Now they're saying that the venom in the spines on this frog's head are 25 times more potent than the Bothrops viper. However, the delivery system is not quite as advanced. Now while I've never kept any of them, I've always been interested in things like poison dart frogs and stuff and generally just the defense of amphibians seemingly nothing. So to hear about a venomous frog is an absolutely amazing story. And that's why I'm going to end today's show with that. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, those links are right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other and we'll see you Wednesday. Monday, Friday, Wednesday, what the? I totally screwed up the days of the week this week. <laughs>